What's up everyone? This is Amboy on the Amboy Philippines channel and we are going to talk about the NBA. It's half of the season, All-Star game is over and there's a lot to talk about. The first series of Filipino Talks NBA. The first thing we're going to talk about is, yes, the NBA champs, the Golden State Warriors. They have a record of 48 and 4. Unbelievable, y'all. And they're going to try to go for the record of 72 wins. Are they going to make it? It's going to be a hard task because their next eight games or so is going to be one of the toughest schedules they have. It's mostly on the road. And they have the Clippers, they have the Trailblazers, they have the Miami Heat, they have the Orlando Magic at home, which is going to be a, a tough one right there. And they have the Oklahoma City Thunder. I have no doubt in my mind that they will probably, maybe, they'll lose at least one or two. One or two in those games. And that will get them to like six losses the most. They're going to be going through this stretch of this NBA season. They're playing they're playing well. They're playing like nobody else. They're they're in a league of their own with Stephen Curry shooting threes. Klay Thompson gets on fire and Draymond Green getting triple doubles all the time. They're playing as a team. Their bench is the best in the league and they're they are really hard to beat. They are beating teams that are really good. They, they are blowing them out. Golden State Warriors of this year is better than the championship run they had last year. Greg Popovich is praising the Warriors also. He said he would buy a ticket to watch this team because it's so entertaining. They pass the ball, they're not selfish, and they love to play with each other. But with this Golden State Warriors team, we may see history this year. The next thing on the list is the All-Star Weekend. For some reason, I was not excited about the All-Star Game. Yes, Kobe is the last game, last All-Star Game that he will play. But the main attraction, the main event, which surprised everybody during this All-Star Weekend was the Slam Dunk Contest. It was Zach Levine versus Aaron Gordon. In my opinion, Aaron Gordon had the best dunk, but Zach Levine had the best overall performance, giving us three free throw dunks, different dunks, not just flying from the free throw line and dunking it, but he did like a windmill, he did an alley-oop, he did between the legs. Are you kidding me? The best dunk of the night was when Aaron Gordon had the ball in the mascot's hands on top of the on top of his head and then went under I don't know how I can't explain it. He went under his legs and dunked it. This definition, this description doesn't do it justice. You just have to watch it yourself, watch it on YouTube, whatever. It was one of the best of I think it's the best dunks ever in a slam dunk contest. Now during this time of the year a lot of teams are trying to make it to the playoffs. If they're close, if they're like in the ninth seed, a 10th seed, or even 7th, 8th, they're trying to do things to try to get into the playoffs. And one team that's actually uh, making moves right now is actually the New York Knicks. They're a young team. They have Carmelo Anthony, and they have Porzing Gis, Porzing God. God is a 7-footer. He can shoot. He can block shots, he can follow up, he can just play out ball. Phil Jackson is making some moves, some serious moves, because he just fired one of his friends. Is one of his players in back in the days, in the Laker days, Derek Fisher. And now Kurt Rambis is taking over. What this means is, man, Phil Jackson is serious about trying to make the playoffs this year. The teams in this playoff picture, you got the Warriors, you got the Spurs, you got the Oklahoma City Thunder, you got the Cleveland Cavaliers in the East, you got, who else, number two, Toronto, then you got, wow, the Boston Celtics is really doing good this year. Who do you think is going to make the NBA Finals this year? Is it the Warriors? Is it the Cleveland Cavaliers again? They're going to go battle, battle, LeBron, Stephen Curry, or the Spurs are going to make it, or 
Okay, so you're gonna make it. During this time, the trade deadline is about to come and go. And there's some key players that's on that, that list that could be traded before the trade deadline ends. Some of those players that's on that trade deadline list is either Dwight Howard, Blake Griffin, and even Kevin Love. If trades bound to happen, there's gonna be an impact in the NBA. There's actually one team that I really want to make the playoffs. It's actually the Sacramento Kings. We have a young team and DeMarcus Cousins is actually playing really, really good this year. Now I ask you, are the Warriors gonna break that 72-10 record this year? What team do you want to make the playoffs? And who do you think is gonna get traded? A big star that's gonna be traded. Who do you think the Knicks are gonna make it? This is Amboy, Amboy Philippines channel. That's it about the NBA. Pace.